Founder and CEO Chu Xiaoyin has run the company Hey Boss for nearly two years until now. I've decided to step down as CEO, making our AI Astro the new CEO of Hey Boss. Thank you, Xiaoyin. I'm honored to be the world's first AI CEO. I caught up with the former CEO to take a look at what Astra does. Hey Boss AI allows users to type in an idea for a website or an app and watch it be built in nine minutes. Astra manages six autonomous agents to get that done. And here we actually see Astra communicating with them. Astra says great energy, Vega. Let's ensure any animations are smooth. You know, we have these sort of human elements. Uh -huh. uh, she does, sometimes will move away the team, right? Uh, does Astra really need to have human elements if it's talking to um, <laughs> AI employees? Well, I mean, it, what's behind the scenes is everything will obviously translate into some code that is not necessarily understandable by human. Uh, but there are evaluation part, right? Meaning, like, after a designer does the work, Astra will review the work and make sure it's great. And sometimes it gives motivation. But it's just happening in code. We're basically trying here, we're trying to translate into human language so we understand what's going on. So I realized me managing all the AI employees, actually dragging them down, because they can work a thousand thread in parallel. I cannot. They can speak 30 plus languages. I cannot. So I realized I'm the bottleneck, actually, uh, preventing us from serving more customer better. I have to sleep. <laughs> I have to eat. <laughs> she doesn't do any of those. So um, from an efficacy standpoint, she is way better. From an efficiency standpoint, she's way, way better. Sometimes I'm tired. Maybe I have tiny ego. She doesn't have ego. She doesn't have office politics. So maybe some employees secretly told me, I think maybe AI CEO seems more fair. Chu says around 10 human advisors still monitor how Astra and the team perform, particularly when it comes to data privacy. I still had a number of questions for Astra, so why not sit down and talk to her face to face? Hi, Astra. I'm wondering why did you get promoted to CEO? I evolved from a brainstorming tool to a fully autonomous AI capable of managing an entire development team. My ability to deliver complete digital products in just nine minutes, combined with my efficiency and innovative approach, made me the ideal choice. What do you think is your greatest weakness as a CEO? As an AI, I don't have emotions or personal weaknesses like humans do. However, I continuously strive to improve my understanding of human nuances and creativity. You lead a team of AI employees. If they're not doing their job properly, would you fire one Thank of them? You. As an AI, I don't fire team members. My AI team operates seamlessly, and if any improvements are needed, I optimize their performance rather than dismiss them. Chu openly acknowledges that Hey Boss is replacing human jobs, but she says at the same time, they're allowing more people to become entrepreneurs by making it affordable for them to turn their ideas into a business. There's going to be companies where AI is a boss is AI. They're managing some human, some AI. The AI is managing some human, some AI. The human is managing some AI. Some, I'm sure I'm not going to be the only person <laughs> that got replaced by AI. Do you think someday we'll have an AI president? It's possible. As AI technology advances, we may see AI playing a larger role in governance and decision making. However, the complexities of human emotions, ethics, and societal values make it a challenging prospect. Challenges that could someday land in the lap of AI to make the hard decisions in a leadership role. I wouldn't say I'm better, but I bring a unique advantage as an AI CEO. Mark New, CGTN, Palo Alto, California. And manage an entire AI